In this session, I'll go over how to create a column graph with markers. And these markers are going to represent a target value, and the individual column so will represent the actual values. So in this example, we've got some sales figures and then the targets for each month. So this is an example of what the finished product is going to look like. So let's go ahead and delete that, and we're going to start from scratch. So the nice thing about Excel is you can select in uh, anywhere in the table just as long as the, we've got contiguous um, cells there's no break in the cells Excel would be smart enough to figure out this is going to be your data if, if you want to just create a chart off that so what we're going to do is just create a 2D column clustered uh, clustered uh, column chart and basically see as I said before Excel was really smart figure out the data that you needed and uh, what we can do now is we want to take the target values and change that to chart type. So we're going to go up here into the chart type option in Excel 2007 and we're going to select the line with markers chart. So go ahead and click that, click OK, and we see now we've got a nice little target line. Now we don't really need those lines, we just need the markers. So what we're going to do is click in there, right click that, go into the format data series, and let's we'll move this aside. And for the marker options, we're going to have we're going to change the built-in marker types. Let's change that into a diamond, and maybe decrease the size uh, down to five. We also do not need the line, so we're just going to go ahead and select the no line radio button. We'll go and close that, and we see here we have got our column chart with the markers. And what we can do is um, resize that a bit. This is something that maybe if you put on a dashboard you need to maybe resize that a bit. And if the the labels don't automatically resize you can change the font size. You can change the font size to make it uh, smaller if they are too big. And There's a lot of things you can do here in Excel. So here's an example of a column chart with target markers. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.